Hello everyone and welcome! It's the middle of the month and that means new Harbor Freight Instant Savings Coupons. This time we have 114 new items on sale for you to take advantage of. I have also included right at the top a 30% off coupon that you can take advantage of this weekend only. You don't need to print this coupon out, just call it up on your phone when you're at the register and they'll scan the coupon right from your phone. That is why I put all my Harbor Freight coupons at my website under the Extras tab in high resolution image so you can call them up anytime you want to and get more details on any item that you're interested in. So let's go through this flyer and see if there are any good items to buy this time at Harbor Freight. But before we do that, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I produce one of these money saving videos for Harbor Freight, Home Depot, Lowe's, Amazon, or any other great place that I can find to get great deals to save you guys money. Hit that subscribe button so you get the notifications. Alright guys, so here we are looking at the Harbor Freight coupons for January 2022, part 2, the middle of the month. And if you need to go to my website, here is the address right there, or you can check it out and get all these coupons anytime you want. And right at the top here, like I said, you can call it up on your phone anytime at the register. This weekend, if you want to go save some money at Harbor Freight, you have 30% off on any items, $10 and under. And that is for all the regular customers. For the Inside Track Club members, 30% off for anything, $20 and under. And there you go. And let's see, let's get into the Instant Savings Coupons, 114 items on sale. Price is good through 127.22. And we start off with some wrenches right there, a four pack of wrenches for 13 bucks if you're looking for one of those. And then we go into the pneumatic tools. And here you have the 18 gauge Brad Air Nailer, 35 bucks from Banks. And like I always point out when one of these goes on sale, if you're interested in saving yourself some money, check out the central pneumatic one first because that is going to be generally like 10 bucks cheaper than this, unless you want to have the bank's name, of course, then go ahead and pay the extra money and get that one. But the central pneumatic is the same tool for less money. And here you have the Merlin 3 8 by 50 and 3 8 by 25 rubber air hoses. There you go. They say new, but I think they've been around for a little while. Harbor Freight likes to put that new label on just about everything just to get you guys interested. But there you go. 22 bucks, 13 bucks, 13% off, 12% off. There you go. And here you have the Earthquake XT 20 volt cordless one half inch extreme torque impact wrench kit with the 4 amp hour battery and the fast charger in case. That's not too bad because actually Harbor Freight lately a lot of their tools they don't include battery and charger or anything. But this is an old Earthquake tool, old technology, been around for quite a long time. 259 tool, battery, charger, case, all that kind of good stuff. That's why they're getting rid of these old earthquake tools and stuff like that so they can sell you more, the Hercules, the Bowers, and all those, and they can piece them out and make more money out of them that way. But if you don't want this old technology, you want something a little newer and equally strong for less money, I'll put a link up in the corner. Check out the chemo review of another torque wrench that I did a couple months ago. And that thing is the same as this, 20 volts, one half inch, but it is newer. It is brushless, more compact, and half the price. And if you're wondering if chemo tools are any good, chemo tools are just as good as the Earthquake, the Bauer, the Ryobi. That is the level of the chemo tools right there. They're decent tools. I've had chemo tools for over a year now, and not a single one of them has died on me, and they're pretty darn good tools. So check that out. I'll put that link, go check that out. You can save yourself more money that way. And here you have a Merlin PVC air hose right there, 3H by 50, 16 bucks, save yourself some money there. And here you have the ammo cans for 16 bucks if you wanna get one of those. Here you have one of the creepers. They have a couple different types. They have this one, and then they have the one that's all plastic. This one has the leaning back on it, the other one does not. And there you have the trim and molding piece right there for $6, 33% off. These are pretty decent. I have a set of these. They're pretty decent tools. I mean, they're not bad. The only problem is that they have a little bit of uh, flex, a little too much give sometimes when you have to work on a panel that doesn't want to come off. If you're going to be doing it all the time, I suggest you get one of the metal ones. They're going to give you a little bit more torque when you're trying to get things taken apart. So there you go. 
And here you have for 50 bucks one of their 12 volt 150 psi compact air compressor and this I imagine is for keeping it in the back of your car in the trunk of your car something like that in case you have a flat tire have a problem in the middle of the road somewhere you have a breakdown and you can pull this out fill your tire back up and keep on going but you know what I've done reviews of some jump starters that have air compressors built into it and for a little bit more money than this you can get yourself two tools in one instead of having more junk in the trunk <laughs> you can have two tools that do two different jobs in one compact little device a jump starter and a compressor all built into one i'll put a link there if you want to check that out that way you can spend a little more money but save yourself a lot of space so there you go and it's battery operated you don't need to plug it into the battery like you do with this one it brings its own battery because it's a jump starter so it's a lot more flexibility there and there you go a funnel set for 109 one dollar for you one dollar right there 25 cents each respectively speaking obviously roughly speaking but i mean what can you get for a quarter anymore honest to goodness i mean back in the old days you could get a candy bar for a dollar but you can't do that anymore not even at the 99 cent store it's 99 cents any place else is generally a couple of bucks for a candy bar but my goodness kids these days they don't get it as easy as we used to have it when i was a kid you could just go to the store for a dime a quarter you could get yourself a nice little candy bar now nah, you can't do that anymore but everything costs a whole lot more now doesn't it and here you go with the pittsburgh motorcycle 1000 pound motorcycle lift right there there you go what is it what is it right there 4.99 they always put the price up here and then they hide it down here somewhere 4.99 50 bucks off there you go if you're looking for one of those things and if you're looking for a serpentine belt tool removal kit right there 17 dollars a couple of bucks off normally 20 bucks and i have one of these and it's pretty good i bought it way back when it was a lot cheaper than this i think it was like 13 14 bucks back then something like that it's gone up obviously even with the 15 percent off but it was still a heck of a lot cheaper back then and it does come in handy with a lot of front wheel drive cars because man some of these cars is really really hard to get that serpentine belt off of them so a slender design like this guy right here does come in very handy and here you have some jump starters that are big and bulky like i said i've done reviews of other jump starters that are a lot smaller a lot more compact and take up less room in the trunk of your car and this guy right here the centec obd2 code reader 30 bucks don't waste your money on this folks this is a total waste of money right there i'll tell you a couple of reasons why you shouldn't buy this first of all you can get the use of one of these for free Go to O'Reilly's, AutoZone, Pep Boys, Rock Auto, whatever place you have near you. I don't know. Everybody's, every place is different. Whatever auto parts you have near you, most of the big name places are going to have OBD2 code readers like this that they will lend you and you can just read the codes in your car right there in the parking lot and do it for free. Absolutely free. That is one reason right there. Second reason, this is a bottom of the barrel reader right there. You will regret buying this and eventually have to spend the money for a much better one because this is only an OBD2 code reader for the engine. That's it. Most modern cars have so many different modules you have to read you have the engine the transmission the body module abs srs and on and on and on so this will do nothing for you and most of the time you don't have the codes most of them are not in the engine that is the least difficult part to deal with most of the codes are in some other part of the, the different modules that the car has so don't waste your money on that either get yourself a much better code reader and i have a lot of code readers that i've reviewed and i'll probably do more in the future so you can go check that out i'll put a link up in the corner to one of them and you can get that or just go to the store and read it there for free and here you have the thunderbolt alkaline batteries double a triple a 24 pack for five bucks that's not too bad that's pretty inexpensive right there considering every place else is costing a heck of a lot more than that and here you have the chicago electric 400 pound universal mobile folding miter saw stand for 119.99 120 bucks 20 bucks off right there that's not too bad actually if you want to get one even cheaper than this check out the warrior one they do have the warrior which is generally under 100 bucks it's about the same as this but it's a bit cheaper so you can get that one even cheaper than that and here you have for six bucks the three inch chip brushes 12 pack that's not bad if you want to get these chip brushes i suggest you get them right here because at home depot you're talking over a dollar a piece each one of these is going to be over a dollar so you're going to spend a lot more money than that so this is a really cheap way to go if you want to use these chip brushes for either cleaning stuff or painting or whatever you want to use them for they're a good way to go right there 
And here you have some flat free tires right there, solid tires right there, 25 bucks for this one, 22 bucks for that one, and some wheel casters right there, there you go. And some bar clamps, there you go, 11% off, 12% off. I have these guys, I have these Pittsburgh guys right here, these uh, ratcheting ones right here. Seven bucks, that's not too bad. I mean, I think I have a 36 inch, I have a 24 inch, I have a 12 inch, I have a bunch of these and they're pretty darn good. I've used them for a long time now. And here you have some of the compressors. You start off with the Fortress 6 gallon, 175 PSI, high performance job site air compressor, 150. That's actually not too bad. I think the price may have gone down on this a little bit. 169, I think, because I would be surprised if these were like about 200 bucks previously. I don't know, maybe it was a different model, but the Fortress are generally quite expensive. So uh, maybe they dropped the price because people are complaining too much. I don't know. But 150 doesn't seem a little too, too bad because this is one of their quietest ones that they have. You want to go even cheaper than that, then you can get the McGraw over here. It is a three gallon, so a little smaller, but it does the job. I mean, most of the time you're going to be using these little compact guys for like nailers and stuff like that that don't use a whole lot of air. So they generally work out just fine. So you have the McGraw here, three gallon. Here is another McGraw, three gallon, 110 PSI pancake hot dog whatever you want 60 bucks each that's not too bad if you want to have a compact compressor for your job site take it with you anywhere you want the cheapest one right there 60 bucks and here you have this guy right here the greenwood contractor garden hose right there for 30 bucks don't buy that folks you will regret it that thing is the biggest nightmare on the planet i had one of these for a few years and eventually i threw it away it's not that it breaks or has holes or leaks or any of that is that it is so difficult to work with it is so rigid it never wants to uncoil could you imagine trying to stretch out 100 feet and that thing is fighting you every step of the way it is a nightmare i even left it out in the sun for years trying to get it to soften up it would never soften up on me so i wound up just throwing it away it was perfectly fine but it was such a nightmare i couldn't stand dealing with it anymore so i threw it out and here you have us general five outlet magnetic power strip right there all the different colors that you want available for 28 bucks and here you have a Voyager 12 pocket oil tan tool set right there. It looks to be like a, a dark brown, a black color or something like that. That's not too bad if you want to get something inexpensive. And here you have the U.S. General single bank roller cabinet 26 by 22 for 329, 20 bucks off. Or you have a bigger one here, 72 by 22, 1399, 100 bucks off. Not a major savings, but you know what? I mean, it is a big cabinet, 1300, 1400 bucks. 1400 bucks that is quite an expensive cabinet though and here you have these 200 lumens flip light right here 229 pretty convenient for putting those anywhere like rvs and so forth or in closets and stuff like that where you don't want to have to deal with a power source just put in the batteries stick it on the wall it comes with tape magnet velcro comes with all that two bucks not too bad here you have the quantum 500 lumens adjustable led headlamp for 22 bucks you know what these are pretty cheapy little headlamps 21% off right there. I've done other headlamps from other companies that produce a lot more power than this. 500 lumens is actually pretty weak. I did another one, uh, another headlamp a little while back, and I put a link up in the corner where you could get two of these. They were 10 bucks a piece. So it was a two pack for about 20 bucks, I think it was. And it had a cob uh, on the front instead of a headlamp like this. It was a cob headlamp. And that thing was more lightweight than this and put out a thousand lumens. So that was a much better deal than that one. I would recommend that one instead of this any day of the week. So go check that out if you want to get a good decent headlamp at a really good price. There you go, your little chair right there for the tailgating and all that kind of good stuff. Here you go, blaze for a multi oscillating tool, three piece right there, seven bucks. And that's another reason that I like the chemo tools. I just did a review of the chemo 20 volt oscillating tool and it brings all these blades already included in the package where a lot of tools do not. So that's why I like chemo. They bring a lot of accessories for the same money. And here you have the Bauer 20 volt lithium ion cordless chainsaw tool only. Like I said previously, they like to do things tool only nowadays so they can make more money off of you. 67 bucks 16 percent off right there and you know what i did a review just a couple of months ago of another chainsaw by nasum and that one is a lot better deal than this because i think that one was around 79 bucks so about the same price as this one when it's not on sale a couple bucks more but trust me that one was a 20 volt lithium ion cordless chainsaw just like this 
10 inch just like this but it came with the battery charger everything all included and it was a, it's just a much better tool so if you want to get a 10 inch chainsaw check out the video that i did on the nasum you can get that one i'll put a link in the corner for like 10 bucks more than this one and it brings everything included this one if you need to go out and buy the battery and the charger you're going to be spending over 100 bucks so it's a no-brainer the other one is a much better way to go same as this guy right here the pacific hydrostar 50 foot power feed drain cleaner now i have one of these and a lot of you guys that watch my videos know that i have one of these and i've always said it's a good machine the only problem i have with this is that harbor freight only gives you one length 50 feet that's it they only have two choices they have this one that is the power feed or they have the manual feed and i have the manual feed it's the same machine without the attachment on the front and the problem is they're only 50 feet long and sometimes i get clogs in my house that are longer than 50 foot so i've been looking for quite a while for another drain cleaner that was longer than this because the harbor freight one just doesn't do it for me sometimes so if you're looking at buying one of these hold up don't buy it wait a couple of weeks i have a review of another one that i just got i just got a 75 footer and you're going to be shocked when I tell you I got a 75 footer for less money than the 50 footer at Harbor Freight. And it is the same machine practically. So I found this other site that instead of just two choices, they have like 10 different drain cleaners that you can choose from. And I chose the one, the 75 footer that I need. And I paid less than what the 50 footer is at Harbor Freight. So you're going to want to see that video if you're looking for one of these drain cleaners because you're going to save money. It's a place that sells industrial equipment at consumer prices. So you're going to like it. They have a lot of cool stuff. Watch for that video. You're going to want to see that. And here you have the cobalt steel step drills from Hercules for 35 bucks. And there you go right there with the impact wrench for 80 bucks. This is the plug-in type. And there you go with the 20 volt cordless one half inch compact variable speed hammer drill driver tool only from Hercules. And again, right there, they're right next to each other. That makes it very easy for you to tell right there. Tool only 55 bucks. Then on top of that, you got to spend 60 bucks for the battery and then another 20 or 30 bucks for the charger. You see how it's not 55 bucks? That is what I tell you that I don't like about these tools. I mean, if you're already in the Hercules family and you don't want more batteries, you all be have a bunch. Okay, fine. That's one way to go right there. I think it is a way for Harbor Freight to get more money out of you guys. And that's what I have a problem with. I know a lot of other companies are doing it too. You don't need to remind me of that. That is the trend that I see nowadays. But I think it's just a way for them to just get more money out of you. I really don't like the way they do that. And here you have right there the Bauer 20 volt brushless cordless compact reciprocating saw. This is the one handed reciprocating saw. New, they say. 70 bucks right there. Tool only. So you still need to go out and buy the battery and the charger. And this is what I tell you. If you're looking for one of these, I'll put a link up in the corner. Go check out my review of the Kima one-handed one. I did it a few months ago. And that thing is a beast. That thing has power to spare. It is also 20 volts. It is also a one-handed reciprocating saw just like this. Same design. But for the same price, it brings the charger and the battery and the blades all included in the same package. And you're going to pay the same amount of money. And it's the same quality kind of tool. So go check out the Chemo if you want to get a much better deal than this one right here. And here you go. Hey, funny thing, a planer. The Chicago Electric 7.5 amp, 3 and a quarter inch planer with dust bag. 50 bucks right there. I just did a review a few weeks ago of a planer that I just got from Banggood. And that is bigger than, that, than this one. This is only 3 and a quarter. I believe the other one is 4 and 3 8, something like that. And it's only like 20 bucks more, something along those lines. Much stronger. This is 7.5 amps. The one that I got is a 10 amp motor. So go check out that one. If you're looking for a planer, go check out the one that I just got, a Top Shot. I got it from Banggood. Much, much better deal. Much stronger planer. That thing is also a beast. And you will be much happier with that one if you're looking for a tool like that. Same as this guy right here, four channel wireless surveillance system with two cameras, 199. This is no bueno, folks. Don't bother with this. I'll put up a link. Go to my playlist. I have a playlist of all sorts of security systems on there, and I'm constantly adding new cameras and so forth that you can use. And I have a doorbell camera coming up really, really soon. So anyway, 
Check out my security system. You can get a lot better systems than this for less money. So I, you know, I put up all sorts of different ones because obviously everybody's going to have different needs. So whether you need two cameras, three cameras, six cameras, eight, whatever you need, one camera by itself, a floodlight camera, doorbell camera, I have all those in there and you can check that out and get much better deals than this. This is not a really good system. It's overpriced. But this guy here, this guy right here, I have this and I've had it for several years and this is a good system. I like it. Uh, the only thing is I paid nine bucks for it. It's gone up now. It's 12 bucks and it was like nine bucks just a couple of months ago. So this is a recent price increase. Very good device. Very easy to install. I mean, it gives you an audible signal. It's like a doorbell without anybody having to press the button. Somebody just walks up and it starts beeping and you know there's somebody there without them even having to press a button. So if somebody's sneaking around, you'll know they're there even though they don't know you know. So there you go for 12 bucks. That's a really good security add on right there. And it works by itself. So you can have a security system and still add this on top of it for just a couple bucks. So that's one I can recommend right there. And there you have some more icon tools, obviously the most expensive tools around. But if you like icon, then what the heck? Knock yourself out. Same as this guy right here, icon four piece socket adapter set for 10 bucks. You can get the same set from Pittsburgh for like four bucks half the price if you want to go with the Pittsburgh one. But if you want to go with Icon, just pay the extra money and there you go. Here's another Voyager tool bag right there for six bucks. If you want a 12 inch tool bag, that's not too bad. And some cases there, some storage racks for 50 bucks from Yukon. And there you have some welding equipment. If you're interested in some welding from Vulcan right there, a couple different things for Vulcan, Chicago Electric, a couple different things for you, an extendable ladder for 149. And there you go. All right, guys, here we are at the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye for now.